Question three. So let's set this test up. So null hypothesis is where the correlation is going to be, well, there's no, no correlation. It's just going to be zero. Um, and the alternative is that it's, uh, it's going to, oh, sorry, it says it's more than zero. Okay, I've just got that just from reading the test just here, right? We're interested in whether it's greater than zero. Okay, so we're looking at 5% level. Um, there's 24 countries. So let's just make a note of that, 24 countries. Now, I need to know the critical value. Okay, so this is where you need to use your tables, all right? So you've got some tables just here. So looking at the product moment correlation coefficient and we're looking at 0 0.05 and we're coming down and here we go, all right? N is 24 and so this is our critical value, 0 0.3438. So we've got that value from our table, right? So it's nothing to work out. We just need to look it up. Right, our observed value that was, that was calculated for us is 0.446. So 0.446 is more than our critical value. So that's suggesting this. So we need to write something like there is evidence to to support H1, the alternative. So correlation, just put it into terms as well. So correlation does seem to be more than zero. Okay. Right. Now on to the next part of the question. All right. So on to part B. So what we're told here is that correlation 0.882. Well, that's much stronger, isn't it? It's much stronger than what we've had before. It's closer to 1. It's much closer to 1. So I would suggest it does support the claim. Part C. Okay. Right. So we're going to try and and model this, um, what we've actually got, we want it to look like, like this, okay? This is what it's asking us. So, and it's given me some information here. It's talked about M and C, and it's, it's given me some reference up here about what C is. Well, let's now think about taking logs of both sides. Okay, just to try and get a bit of sense of what this actually is. So we can, obviously the idea is that we want to work out what these numbers are here. So, and log 10 of a x n. Right, I'm just going to use my knowledge of log laws here just to split this up. So that's going to be that. Plus, now, log base 10 x n n comes to the front and log 10 x right there we go right now let's just go back and actually think about what these things actually are so this point here log 10 a so let's go back up to what we are actually told well that's this bit okay so that's going to be, so that's equal to minus 1.82. So from there, I know that log 10a equals minus 1.82. So if I do 10 to the power of 1 minus 82, that equals, that equals a, which is equal to... 0.0151. Okay, so we got what the A part is. Now again, 
just have a look and see what we've actually been told. So just looking at this bit just up here, 0.89 m. m is, whoops, sorry, it's out of shot, isn't it? m equals log base 10 x. That's that bit just there. That's the M part there. So this part, that's the N bit. So this bit here is M equals 0.89. So if I piece all that together, what have we got? We got Y equals A, 0 0.0151, and then that's X. So the power of this part, 